Hey, what's up you guys? It's Rhea, and today I have a pretty exciting video. I'm going to be doing my makeup with all of my oldest makeup. I'm a little nervous <laughs> because most of this makeup I would say is from like 2015 to early 2016, and that's like four or five years ago, so technically I should not wear it. Do not wear super old makeup. If it is expired, you shouldn't wear it. But I wanted to do it for today's video and kind of for nostalgia's sake because it was so fun to go through my makeup and just see like where I started and just think about where I am now. And I hope these products still work. So I won't keep this intro very long. I'll just hop right into it. Okay, first I'm going to start with this primer. It's the baby skin primer by Maybelline. For the longest time I didn't even use primer so I just picked my oldest one. This is probably only a couple years old, maybe three, and I just put it all over my nose and on my forehead area and then disperse it to the rest of the face. Next we're gonna go in with foundation. I have the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Luminous foundation and it says new on it but I'm pretty sure I looked it up and this came out in 2015 and this my blush and my like face powder I think are my oldest items that I have at all so this foundation is very expired and I do not even know if it's gonna match my skin maybe it might be a little dark but we'll work with it <laughs> it's a little thick I mean, it's still working. So in my first video, I talked about how all my old makeup, I just like copied my mom and my sister. And this is one of the items that I just copied. Probably gonna have to use a lot of this product, which is nerve wracking. <laughs> Thankfully, it's not too dark. It's a little dark for me, but... I think it looks okay. We'll just blend it down the neck. Oh, it's so orange. Look at my neck and look at my... Oh no. <laughs> okay, just blend and blend and blend and blend some more. Oh my gosh. It's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna have to shower after this, holy cow. It's better than it was. I'm not gonna pack on foundation on my chest. Next, we'll go on to concealer. I'm going to use this Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer by CoverGirl. I must have just really liked CoverGirl, probably because I saw all the commercials. Easy, breezy, beautiful CoverGirl. So I must have thought it was good. So that's why I bought it. I'm hoping product will even come out of this. So. Just gonna put my concealer on like I normally do. I'm really gonna have to dig in there. Hmm, I'm gonna have to go in probably a few more times. I know this is a lot, but this concealer doesn't cover anything. I think it was part of their um, more natural collection. I hope you guys are doing well during all of this madness. <laughs> I'm from Pennsylvania and I'm back at home. So we're in a stay at home order, which for the most part I've been staying at home. Sometimes I'll go on walks and I've had to go to like the store, but other than that, stay at home. I've gotten a lot of reading done and I just love to read. I go through phases where I forget how much I like to read and then I pick up a book and then I'll just read a million books. <laughs> and I just finished that book that I mentioned in my night routine video called City of Girls about a girl moving to New York City and honestly it just makes me want to move there more. <laughs> It was a really good book. It was another sad yet beautiful book, like the book review I did on All the Right Places. And I was like, dang, why are all these sad books coming at me? And why do I just keep reading sad books? But it was really good. So if you need a book to read during all of this, 
I would definitely recommend. So for powder, my oldest powder is actually this. It's by LA Colors and I think I'll use that for around my face because one, it's going to make a huge mess once I open it up because all the product is like sitting in the top and that's probably why I never use loose powder anymore. But uh, I'm going to use this powder in my Profusion palette that I showed in a video or two ago and I'm just going to set under my eyes with a fluffy brush. And now it's time for the mess. I have a garbage can like right over here so I'm going to open it over the garbage can so I don't make a huge mess. It's a powder by LA Colors. I forgot they even made makeup or they might not even make makeup anymore. And it's in the color natural. Oh, I didn't say this. I don't even know if they still sell this foundation. But my foundation shade is Soft Honey. My concealer doesn't even have a shade on it, so can't tell you that one. <laughs> uh, I don't want a mess. 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 I'm just going to go into the lid. It's like a pretty, it says natural, but it's a pretty dark powder. This is the mess that I'm dealing with. And now, I will probably never touch that powder again. For bronzer, I have an e.l.f. palette. It has four different shades in it, and they all have shimmer in it, which is not usually what I pick up anymore. I usually go for a matte bronzer. But for the sake of the video, this was my first bronzer, and it's probably because it was affordable, and I honestly don't remember how the payoff was, because at the time, I had no idea what I was doing. I'm just gonna swirl all the shades together, because I don't really think... They come off separately that well anyways. Mm, a little bit's coming off. Probably just gonna have to really dig in there. So other than reading, I've like I said, I've been walking. I've had a ton of schoolwork because I'm a senior and online school just makes me even more ready to graduate. To be honest, I'm ready to be done, but I'm afraid that since I want to be in New York City, and the economy isn't doing as well as I had hoped when I was going to the job market. I'm a little worried that I might not get a job, at least right away. <clears throat> Which is okay, because, like, my parents won't just, like, kick me out or anything like that. But I'd like to get into, like, the job market and get my own place. Because at school, I had an apartment, but it was, like, through the university. So I've just never really had an apartment where I had to pay the bills and I was responsible for everything and I could, like, fully decorate this way I wanted or even had money to decorate it because my money had to go to stuff for school and for groceries and with a full-time job, I'll just be able to get other things and I'm really excited about it. For blush, this is probably the oldest piece of makeup I own because I'm pretty sure my mom gave it to me out of her collection and who knows when she bought it before she gave it to me, but it is this CoverGirls Cheekers. If you can see, the label is rubbing off and it's in the shade Rose Silk. It's a very luminous blush, has a lot of shimmer in it, which again, is different than what I would go for now. I usually go for a matte blush because I usually put highlight over it and I still will put highlighter over this, but it is in like a small rectangular pan, which in the grand scheme of things, isn't that easy to get into when you want to get blush. For highlight, I'm going to go into the same Profusion palette and use a combination of these two highlight shades in here. I'm gonna be very, very shimmery today, I guess. So like, life isn't hectic enough already, you know? The other night I was in the bathroom and it was like midnight and I was just trying to brush my teeth, do my skincare and go to bed. And what comes flying at me? A wasp. There was a wasp in my bathroom at midnight. And at first I wanna be the person Oh god, sorry. At first, I want to be the person I usually am and just run and get somebody else to do it. Like, run to my mom and be like, Mom, there's a wasp. Please come get it. But I was like, no, Rhea, you're gonna do this. So I went downstairs and we have like a small vacuum cleaner and I was like, I'm gonna suck this buddy up and cover it with tape. So I grabbed tape, I grabbed the vacuum and it was like on the light at the top of my bathroom and I just 
sucked it up and I almost missed it so then I thought it was gonna sting me but then somehow I got it and I was like yes being an adult doing this for myself heck yeah it was a big accomplishment to me honestly I thought the base would turn out worse than it did it's very luminous but I don't mind it makes me feel like it's summertime and it's not <laughs> we'll do our eyebrows next and I'm very excited about a couple of these products because they're definitely the first products that I bought with my own money. For brows, I'm going to go in with this Lovatix eyebrow pencil. It's by NYC and it was a collaboration with Demi Lovato. And I love Demi Lovato, especially at the time because this collection came out in 2016, the beginning of 2016. And near the middle in... May, I believe? May or June? I went and saw Demi Lovato in concert. I'm pretty sure I even wore her makeup to her concert because I was so excited that I like had her makeup and I bought merch. I was a full-on Demi Lovato fan. Nick Jonas was also at that concert, so it was a pretty cool experience to see two big names at one concert. I do not remember how this works. I'm pretty sure I barely used it when I had it because I broke it and never had a sharpener, but I have a sharpener now, so I fixed it. And for brow gel, I have this Maybelline Brow Drama. I bought it at the same time as the brow pencil and I had no idea what it was even used for. As this weird brush, there aren't very many brushes that look like this, at least not that I've used today. And I don't think brow gel was super popular when I bought this, but now everyone uses it. Sometimes I just use brow gel and don't even use a brow pencil on more natural making days. And everyone has pretty much added this step to their routine. And on to eyeshadow, which I'm excited about because you would have guessed it. It's the Demi Lovato NYC palette. And I have no idea what kind of look I'm going to do. Half of these shades I barely touched, so <laughs> it'll be fun to be able to use the darker shades that I never used before. I'm going to go in with just like a fluffy brush into this medium brown and this brown together. I'm going to use a smaller brush and I'm going to take just that medium to dark brown and put it lower on the crease. Has anyone else had the urge to just drastically change their hair? Because I'm like, oh, I want to dye my hair. Oh, I want to cut my hair. And I keep telling myself, like, Rhea, you probably should not do that because you don't know what you're doing. And my mom has, like, this hair cutting tool that was on Shark Tank. And I thought about just using that. So if I do, look out for a video about me ruining my hair. Next, I'm going to go into this dark brown shade. It has a little shimmer in it, but it's the darkest brown that they have. And I'm going to go into the outer corner. Dang, this is pigmented. The thing that I love about doing YouTube videos so far is that it really gets me outside of my comfort zone and I feel like really good things can come from being outside of your comfort zone. I probably would have never even attempted this look and definitely probably would have never worn it out without this video because I usually do lighter looks or a little more color but I'm like excited that I'm doing a smoky eye. Just to like prove to myself that I can do it too because I feel like I avoid things because I'm like scared to mess up or that it won't look good but you can't always do that. You gotta just go into the unknown as my boyfriend would say. I'm going to take a clean fluffy brush and just soften up the edges. Now I'm going to take a flat brush and just mix all the gold shades together. I'm going to pack it on my lid. 
I changed my mind and I'm just gonna go into the deeper one and put that on top of what I've already laid down. For my lower lash line, I'm gonna take the lighter brown and the medium brown mixed together. So that's my eye look for today. It's pretty smoky, pretty dark. For eyeliner, my oldest eyeliner is also by CoverGirl, and it is this brown shade. I always have this pencil in brown and black, so I've had both, and I'm going to do my waterline and tight line. Okay, I did that off camera to spare you <laughs> seeing me pull at my eyeballs and my eyeballs being wide open. For mascara, my oldest, yet again, CoverGirl, but look at this. I look, tried it out last night. Barely anything comes off. So, obviously we're not going to use that because it's not working. So, I'm going to use my second oldest, I believe, which is the Mini Clinique High Impact Mascara. I'm going to curl my lashes and then put this Clinique Mascara on. So, I think I am going to go for lashes today, but I'm also going to do that off camera because they're a pain in the butt. And I'm not the best at them still, so save myself some embarrassment. <laughs> okay, now that I finally have my lashes on, that took me a lot longer than I'd like to admit. I'm going to blend them with mascara and then do my bottom lashes. Oh, do you see that? Oh my gosh, it's all over my contact. Maybe that's why I don't use this mascara. And then with the lightest shimmer, I'm going to hit my inner corner and my brow bone. <laughs> and our last step today is just going to be lip gloss because I don't really own an old lipstick because I'm just starting to get into lipstick. So I picked my oldest lip gloss. It looks a little nasty. All the writing's coming off of this. This might be just as old as the blush, and it's by NYC. It's in the shade Prospect Pink, and it's, a, it's called a liquid lip shine, but it's just a lip gloss. This is a very 2000s lip gloss. So, Here's my look for today, using my oldest makeup that I own, except for the lashes, but here it is. We went for a very shimmery look with a smoky eye. This was really fun for me to do because it took me down memory lane and just let me see all the makeup that I used to use and that I'll probably keep forever just because it's where I started and I'll always be reminded of where I started. So thank you for watching today's video. I hope you like the look and if you're bored during all this craziness, I highly recommend that you do this too. Just go through your old makeup and find what you used to use and maybe try it out again, especially if it's not too old. Like don't sacrifice your skin or your eyes or anything like that just for this, but if you have makeup that's not that old that you forgot about, you should try it out again. Like I said, thank you so much for watching today's video. Give it a like down below and subscribe to my channel if you like the content that I've been making and comment down any video ideas if you like the look or if you do this yourself. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!